you mentioned the Climate Summit. You have a PhD. You also mentioned science. You have a PhD in science. Uh, and you just hosted the Africa Climate Summit where many heads of state signed the Nairobi Declaration. Why do you see this as so important? Why are you so passionate about this? And what should this group of investors know about what the Nairobi Declaration means and what the work that you did at the Climate Summit means for the future? It's because, you know, narratives are very powerful. For a very long time, you know, Africa was profiled as this continent of conflict, war, disease, and all the negative things. But that's not what these guys are seeing in Nairobi, right? But that's not what we are. We are a continent of opportunity. We are a continent of great potential. And the Nairobi uh, uh, Declaration, in, uh, the, my hosting of the Nairobi Climate Summit is so that we can showcase to the world that there is a different side of Africa. One uh, African writer is called Chinua Achebe. He said, before the lion learned the art of writing, all stories glorified the hunter. Because the stories were written by the hunter and he always made himself the king. People did not know that the lion may be even be, be better than the hunter. So it's time we write our own story, you know? And the Climate Summit gave us an opportunity to showcase to the world that you have countries like Kenya that have 93% of their electricity grid being green renewable energy. You know, many people don't think that that is a possibility, but we've been able to demonstrate to them that it is a possibility. And we intend to make our grid 100% green by 2030. And we are well on course in getting it there. And because we live in one globe, there is no north versus south. There is no um, uh, emitters versus non-emitters. We live in one globe, and if things were to get out of control, none of us is safe. So it is time we began to be responsible. And Africa wants to lead the way. Kenya wants to lead the way. Even as I talk to this investing community here, we're telling them that as you invest in Kenya, have at the back of your mind that you're investing in Kenya in a sustainable uh, environment, in an environment that is responsible to nature, that is aware that fossil fuels, the exploitation of fossil fuels, what is happening to our uh, environment, what is happening to uh, uh, the climate, the effects, cyclones, droughts, famine, and everything that comes with it. Today, we're told that in Europe, they are experiencing the hottest ever summers, including people being evacuated from beaches, because climate change is real. It is not a myth. And I am saying this as a scientist myself, so that people can begin to understand that it is good for us to invest responsibly, making sure that that investment promotes a world that we can not only enjoy ourselves, but we can bequeath to generations to come because we have done so responsibly by using the kind of energy that supports biodiversity, that gives us an opportunity uh, to reduce uh, the carbon footprint and making sure that we decarbonize our manufacturing, our industrialization. For example, Konza City, which is our silicon savanna, we're making sure that the energy that is being used on all the 
um, uh, operations there, whether it is the data centers, whether it is everything that we are offering to the world is powered by green energy so that people understand that there is opportunity globally to be able to do that and to be able to do business, run our enterprises, um, uh, run our, our manufacturing and industrialization, but being also responsible to our environment, to humanity, to biodiversity, and to where we need to go into the future.